بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیئر وی ہیو ایم آر آئی آف دی برین پیشنٹ از فورٹی ایئرز اولڈ اینڈ ہی از پریزنٹنگ ود ریپیٹڈ ایپیسوڈس آف وٹائگو ڈیزینس اینڈ امبیلنس سو ہیئر وی ہیو ایکزیل ٹی ون ٹی ٹو اینڈ فلیئر سیکوینس ان آل دیز تھری سیکوینسز we can see that there is no signal abnormality in the brain parenchyma both in supra as well as in frontotemporal compartment so we say that there is no hemorrhage no ischemia or no mass lesion ventricular chain is normal inflammatory changes are noted in ethmoid hair cells eyeballs extraocular muscles are normal when we go down in the region of foramen of the magnum we see that cerebellar tonsils are noted in foramen of the magnum here we can see cerebellar tonsils are noted in foramen of the magnum so let's see sagittal images same is the condition over here This is the anterior lip of the foramen of magnum and this one is posterior lip and we can see that cerebral tonsil is noted below this line and we can also see that there is mild downward herniation of cervical medullary junction through foramen of the magnum as well so this is the cause of patient's symptoms so whenever we see such symptoms we have to concentrate not only in supra but also on infratentorial compartment especially at craniosacral junction to rule out any probability or possibility of downward herniation of cervical medullary portion or cerebellar tonsil through foramen of the magnum we can also draw a macrae line joining anterior and posterior lips of the foramen of the magnum and mayor the herniated components thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah